Hello? Hello. Have you been here before? No, you hung up on me. Why I hang up on you? Because my as soon as I joined, my uh, volume went low, so I couldn't hear you. Okay, well, we're back good now. Is this the best light you have? Well, I'm outside. Okay. Okay. What's your name? Akondra. Akondra. Where are you calling me from? Texas. What part? Uh, Wichita Falls. Wichita Falls. Do you have any kids? Three. How old are your kids? kids? Seven, three, and uh, four. Seven, three, and four. All by the same man? Mm-mm. How many men? Everybody got their own daddy. Everybody. You get a daddy. You get a daddy. You get a daddy. We okay. all get a daddy. We all get a daddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Achondria, how old are you? 23. Don't look like that. Maybe. Girl, what's going on? Life. Running into the wrong people. Why you not with the three-year-old dad? Her daddy was a one-night stand, and I just happened to get pregnant. Why not with the four-year-old dad? I was with him for four years, but he a cheetah and a hoe. And the seven-year-old dad probably was a high school situation? Oh, oh, okay. Akondra, what, what, what do you do now for a living, honey? Well, I work at Walmart. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. Oh, yeah. So this is Akondria, Texas, three kids, 23, works at Walmart. Um, what kind of man are you looking for, sweetheart? Um, I'm looking for a, I don't know. Well, I'm looking for, I really don't know, but I'm looking for somebody that is a protector, a leader, a provider, someone who is understanding, loving. I was, I'm just looking for, I can't really describe it. And I wrote down what I was going to say, but it's in the house. And I don't really go it's in the house. What Mama are was a rolling stone. Y'all funny, but y'all don't get to me. But you can go ahead. What What are your deal breakers? Um, I don't do cheaters. I don't like men that's addicted to drugs. Um, I don't like liars. Um, anybody that's still dealing with their baby mama, because I'm a baby mama, so I know how that goes. So I know how women play little games and men play the games too. Do you still do with your baby daddies? And do they pay child support? Girl, one told me that he'll quit working before he pays child support. So, so they're not, they're not helping you financially with your kids. Nah, I'll take care of them. I don't trip. Okay. Um, can the guy have kids? He can. Do you want more kids? I do. I want a son. Do you have all girls? I have all girls. Mm -hmm. So, Kondry, I want you to respond to this because it's definitely going to be a comment um, if I make you a highlight. What would you say to the guy that's concerned that you have three kids by three different men and you have um, two kids under five, a three and a four-year-old? I mean, I, I don't really know what to say, but I don't deal with my baby daddy. So there's no doubling back on that or worrying about me having to deal with that. I actually don't deal with them at all. So I, we not, I'm not tied to no other man, technically. It's just me and them, me and my girls. So. Okay. Okay. Does a new guy have to look a certain way? I've learned that looks ain't all that. So no. Okay. No. Does he have to make a certain amount of money? Um, no, just be able to provide for yourself um, and me as well, eventually. Provide for you in what ways? Um, I do like to be spoiled, so that. Um, I don't need nobody to take care of me because I take care of myself. Okay. Okay, let's do the Kendra cam. Okay, hold on. Oh shit, I can't stand it up. I'm outside. Okay, wait. I don't have no, well, I have a sports problem. Okay. Okay. 
So, Chondria, when was your last relationship? Uh, it was about two years ago. Okay. Hold on, can I say something? Y'all trying to say I'm 23 with three kids, and y'all mama and grandma's was uh, 20, 20 with like damn near 15, 16 kids, so it really don't matter. Y'all grandmas and all that had 30 damn kids, and y'all worried about me with three kids at 23. Y'all are weird. Real weird. And I can be spoiled at 23 by a man. Who don't want to be fucking spoiled by a man that's claimed they want them and love them? Anything? Oh, 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 oh. say anything else? No. Okay, okay. Okay, cousin. She's ready for that smoke, cousin. She's ready for that smoke. When were, you said your last relationship was two years ago. You don't have to answer. I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? About three months ago. Is that person an option? No. Nah. Why do you keep having sex with men you can't stay with in a long-term relationship? I don't know. Honestly. It's, I think it's the type of men that I attract. Well, not even attract. It's the type that I choose. I be trying to go off looks. And looks really don't be all that. Yeah, I think you're young. So I give... I always give people... You know, I sit here with life experience. Um, but have you ever gone to um, therapist, therapist, therapy to make I've you honestly, I've honestly thought about that, honestly. Um, it's because, I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to talk to people about stuff. But I've honestly thought about that. Okay. Because I think you might need some guidance on how the decisions you make can affect you for your whole entire life. And, you know, if you continue to have sex with men who you can't build a future with, you know, do you want to have another child with another guy that is going to be a baby daddy? No, I've, al no, I've already got in my mind that I'm not having no more children until I'm married. And Okay. Okay. So you got to be married. Okay. What are three flaws you think you have to work on, honey? Uh, three flaws that I think I have to work on. Um... I think, hmm, I honestly don't know. You changed up the questions. No, you, you, added a you question. don't, you don't, you can't think of three things you need to work on. Not right off the bat of my head. Let me give you some. Let me give you some. Number one. Stop sleeping with men you can't be in committed relationships with. Stop sleeping with men who do not agree to be with you in a committed relationship. Number two, a flaw is always needing men around. I think you should take some time to yourself. I don't need men around. Well, you're I don't always need men around. So you, 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 take, you take me time? I do. I've what? been on me time. How long, how long was your me time? I've been on me time, well... If you're talking about the last sexual encounter I had, uh, but before then, I was doing me time for like two years. I was in Florida for single for two years, and then I moved here. In those two years, did you learn anything about yourself? I actually, honestly, I didn't take the time to. I was just work busy worrying about me and my children and working, trying to provide, honestly. Okay. Would you date a guy that had three baby mamas? It really depends on the situation. I can't I can't say yeah and I can't say no. It really depends on where they at with their co-parenting, if they still trying to hunch on each other or if they're actually co-parenting. Okay. Okay. Um, he said he can't have kids. Why would a guy be lucky to be with you, honey? Um, because um for one um i'm a great person inside and outside um i mm, that's funny i mean mm, i'm a great person inside and outside um i don't know honestly besides that i ain't even i don't know never thought about it Whereas my parents, for guidance, baby, I had a mother and a father. They were married. They were in the same household as me. 
that's where they were. When you're a sheltered child and you're the only sheltered one, you they create you create a sneaky motherfucker, and that's what happened. I was very sheltered. I grew up with nothing but brothers. So my mama and daddy, they sheltered me and kept me inside. So that's where the baby came at 15. Y'all little hoes funny. Sorry, Kendra. Okay. And so you have you had how many brothers? I have four brothers. Four brothers. Did they give you the game about men? Yeah. I just, it was me. Okay. It ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. It was me, young and dumb. That's it, young and dumb. So now what did you learn after baby number three? Because it feels like now after baby number three, you've learned some things. I don't want nobody that just like, if sex is an interest to you right off the bat, I'm not really interested. Um, I have nothing but daughters, so therefore, I'm kind of looking to be loved a little different because I have daughters, so therefore I have to lead by example for them because I'm trying to show them the correct way. You can't, I can't have men in and out because I have daughters. I'm the first person they're looking at. I'm not doing all that. Try this, and everybody gets mad when I say this um, rule, but it will help you learn the type of man that we want to commit with you opposed to just having sex with you. Don't sleep with anybody else who's not willing to be in a relationship with you. What women don't want to talk about enough is women have sexual desires too. Hold on a second. Oh. And do. Hold on one second. Um, women have sexual desires too, which is understandable. But women, unlike men at times, want the relationship. Most men can have sex with you and not desire a relationship. So yes, ladies, you're gonna have to learn sexual control if you desire a relationship because you gotta figure out who just wanna sleep with you and who just wanna have sex with you. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna forever be a person that, I mean, every woman with a vagina, for the most part, you're gonna always be able to have sex. Somebody gonna sleep with you. May not be the person you want, but somebody on this planet with a penis will sleep with you if you got a vagina. Does not mean they're gonna wipe you up and be in a relationship with you. So if, if there's any first lesson you want to start with, is start with figuring out who will date me and be in a relationship with me versus who will just have sex with me. And the only way that you're going to learn that is if you set the tone and you set the ground rules. So at 23, and, and this may mean you might go without sex. I am saying that. You may go without sex because a lot of men might not want to rise to that occasion and be in a relationship with you. And you're going to have to be okay and stand by that and walk away. But at least you'll know that he wasn't going to be with you. So that's the first thing you can start doing if you want to start somewhere. Okay. Right, I'm listening. Start. For the person that wants to reach out to you, how can they reach out to you? Honey? My Facebook, uh, a contra tober. A contra tober. Okay, baby girl. You need to ask me the age range. I don't want no young man. I forgot I that. What's the age range, honey? I, I prefer all them. Um, at least twenty. Well, no, at least thirty. Uh, yeah. So you're twenty three. You want to be at thirty and up? Yes. Do you want him to be in Texas? I don't like. Okay. Uh, yes. Do you want him to be in Texas? Mhm. Mm okay. He has to be in Texas. Um, all right, and you said money doesn't matter, right? What you want to say? Three times I'm still stuck on, stuck on my baby daddy of not being on child support. I don't need their money, and y'all worry about the wrong thing. My baby daddy on child support, he just does not pay it. Y'all worry about the wrong thing. Child support is not a factor here. This about child support. I think some men got mad when I was talking about this the other day. Child support is about the child. So I don't think the more money you have, the more opportunities you can afford for your child. Money does make life a little bit easier. So shout out to all the women who are bad by themselves and financially truly can take care of their children. But there are women who should seek financial help from the men they had children with. And that's not about you, it's about the child having other, more opportunities because there's more income.
And I think if more women held men accountable for child support, all these men would not be out here reckless making babies every day. The reason men got 12 kids because 11 baby mamas were like you and was impressing them to pay child support. But I bet you if every time a guy had a child and he had to pay up for that child, he would control how many kids he creates. So I don't think it's- And matter. it's a lot of men. I mean- It's a lot of men that run from working so they don't have to pay child support. This is true. I mean, listen, the dy dynamics can be a lot of different ways, but this isn't your first situation. You did this three times. Touche. Okay. Well, listen, I do have a love for you. Hopefully something was given to you tonight that can help you look at things a little bit differently. But for the guy that wants to meet you right now, what is your Facebook page? A Contra Tolbert. A Contra Tolbert. All right, sweetheart. Well, you have a good Friday night. You too. All right. Bye, sweetheart. Listen, I am, let me tell you something. I am, I know y'all always say I ain't got no kids. I'm not married. And you're absolutely right. But I was a kid. And, and I saw what my mom did. And my father did have no more kids besides me because I was expensive. And my mother made sure, even though they wasn't together, he had to be financially responsible for me in all ways, and step up in all ways. And I know the life that I have right now, I would not have if I didn't come from a two-parent income. Even though my dad did not live in my mother's house, oh, I had a two-parent childhood income. Um, men and women, it's about the child. And money ain't everything, but money does make life easier. And we know with money, you get to live in different areas. You get to go to better schools. It just really is a difference. So, and if more women, and this is the fall of women, because you lay down, unless it's rape, unless it's rape, that's a whole different conversation. You volunteer to open up your legs to this man. So if you have a child by a deadbeat man, it is your fault for choosing to lay with that deadbeat daddy. Okay? I know we want to say that nigga ain't shit. I know we want to say, but guess what? He was never shit, and you knew it. So don't start singing and singing that line and that song now when you was a willing participant at one point in time of dealing with a nigga that wasn't shit. This is what happens. But we got to start taking responsibility in order to make changes. You know, because if we don't make changes, we're going to keep going in circles. And if anything this show can be, I hope is an enlightenment. I like to enlighten people because one thing I have learned is some people really just don't know. Like, like I know a lot of people had a lot of thoughts, but she was 23 years old and I really think she's not aware. I think she's not aware. She's gonna get more aware the older she gets. And that truly happens, you know? So let's keep going. This is the second show.